Wilkinsburg, Pennsylvania, located right outside Pittsburgh, is home to Miss Jean's Southern Cuisine, opened by Jean Gould, a retired special education teacher. I love to cook, and then when I started doing it at my church, everybody wanted me to make food. Miss Jean, you have to cook this, you have to cook that. Cheese sauce is ready. They're the ones that really encouraged me to open up a restaurant. You'll love her food, trust me. <laughs> that Mac should be ready to come out. Very good. She's the type of person that will always help you if you're in a band or if you need help. Are you sure you feel better? Because we don't want you working sick. But, oh wow, how can I explain this? She has an attitude problem. If I catch you on your phone, it's considered your 15 minute break. No exception. Unless you fell on the floor and there's nobody in here and you can't get up. <laughs> Miss Jean's like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Who cut the steam tables on? Y'all gotta pay attention. Somebody write these orders like kindergarten students. Y'all mean because a lot of my staff is lazy. I don't think it, I know it. Uh-uh, uh-uh, sister. Where you coming from? You can't from? be standing back here in the kitchen on your phone. Let me call you back where I have to kill I mean, that's not right, you just can't do that. And I have to go and tell them four or five times, you need to do this, you need to check this, you need to check that. All right. There's a problem with the mac and cheese. They said it's overcooked and they want some more. I don't want to hear it. When she's dealing with a customer complaint, she could be known to get a little bit nasty. She said this is like eating a potato chip. That lady lying. Sometime I find myself in the kitchen cooking and I have to stop and I go to the door just to make sure no one is out there. Wow. Um, I don't know what happens. The customers are gone. Oh, man. There were several times I came in in the morning, and she's crying. <laughs> she's just crying. And then I'm getting a frog. <laughs> she, um, she'd be like, she owes so much, she's scared. I'm really in need of help, to the point I don't. Excuse me. I don't know what I would do. I don't even know where else I would go to seek out. All I know if I put my whole life, my whole life savings, you know, to see it go right down the drain. I don't know what I'll do. How are you, say you well? Just waiting for my car. Chef Ramsey, Chef Ramsey. Hi, I'm Jean. You're coming to my restaurant. Can I uh, speak to you a minute, uh, please? I'm supposed to be coming to see you. Please. Okay. I brought you a peach cobbler. I need to see you a few minutes before you get to my restaurant. OK, uh, let's get through that. OK. Jeez. All my whole life, all I've ever did was help someone else. Let's take a seat over here. And now I'm really, really in need of help. First of all, how long have you had the restaurant? I had the restaurant about 12 years. And before you ran the business, what were you doing? Oh, I taught uh, disabled kids and adults. And I did that for about 25 years. Tough job. It is. So coming out of that kind of role, mm -hmm. talk to me about your restaurant. What is it? The food. How do you rate that on a scale of 1 to 10? I'm saying 8. 8? Yes. OK. The biggest problem is my staff because they're trying to cook with one hand and be on a cell phone with another hand, or taking more breaks and gossiping, talking, and being late, or just don't show. And it's just not helping me keep my restaurant where it needs to be. I am in big, big debt because I can't keep enough clientele in right. the restaurant. I mean, I am going through so much right now. I really don't know if I'm gonna make it out through the month. I just don't have the money. So every day, I do everything. I waitress, I'm the manager, mm -hmm. I cook. Which is crazy. Because that's how bad it is right now. I just really need your help. I'm on the edge. I really, really need help. I can't do mm -hmm. it. I can't. I, I, I appreciate you coming here to see me. Thank you for the update. Don't get upset. I can't help. It's been so hard. I just don't know what to do. Listen, I'm here to help, Miss Jean. OK? OK. I totally get it. OK, thank you. OK. I'm going to jump in my car, get back there, and I'll have a meeting with the staff. Come on. OK, thank you. OK. Wow. Well, made 
be rainy in Pittsburgh, but there's one thing that can pick me up. There's some good soul food. Wow. Oh. oh my god. Oh my goodness me. Anyone in? Hello. Here's the cab. Oh my goodness. You drop of evidence. I'm scared to go out there. I can't handle it. We're about to pass out. Oh. oh my god. Hello. How are you? Good, how are you? Good to see you. You too, I'm Marissa. I'll Marissa, be good to Marissa. see you. Marissa, my goodness me. Was there a, uh, a robbery last night? There's nothing in there. That's our dessert display over wow. there. <laughs> that is grim. The restaurant looks like a prison cafeteria. It's just embarrassing. I mean, Chef Ramsey's coming in asking, when was the robbery? Oh dear. Ouch. Hello. Nice to see you. And first name is? Joni. Joni. Right, glad you came. Good yeah. to see you. I'd like to have a quick get together with the staff. Okay. Can you go to the kitchen yes, and call sir. everybody out? Yes, I will. Uh, without Miss Jean? Yes, sir. Everyone to the front. We have a meeting. Come over, come over. Everybody, come through. Great. And first name is? Chef Mike. Chef Mike. Mm -hmm. How are you, my darling? Hello. And this is? Chanel. Chanel. Come over here so we all stick together. Now that Chef Ramsay is here, I'm ready to talk about everything that's wrong. Believe you me. <laughs> um, first of all, Miss Jeannie came to see me this morning. The biggest problem, from her point of view, was the staff. Oh, my. Why would she blame the staff for the problems in the restaurant? To get all the blame off of her. Yes. Yes. Why would she pass the blame on to you? She has sort of an attitude problem. She's just mean. Mean. Mrs. Jean, pillar yes. of the community for the last 20 years, she's mean? Yes. She's mean to the customers sometimes. Mean to the customers? And employees, too. Yes. I don't believe it. Sometimes I thought she has split personality. Wow. You got the nitpicking Miss Jane where you just want to throw your hands up and be like, I'm leaving. Then you got nice Miss Jane. I mean, I'm really confused. Miss Jean blamed you guys as the issue. And what you're telling me is completely different. So let me go and get her. Miss Jean. Yes. You got two seconds? Oh, wow. Um, so I'm I'm a little confused. Miss Jean, you told me the big issue here was the staff. That's not the case from their point of view. They're saying that you have a mean streak. Are you mean? I don't think it's a mean streak. I'm a very serious person. They're saying that you're heavy-handed with the customers <laughs> in terms of the way they've been treated. There's a young man that comes in here, and he's like me and Jean's, um, Grandson. Right. It's not like my grandson. Well, I'm just saying, Gene, he's a regular. And um, he ordered pepper steak and rice one time. And he just told Miss Gene was a little salty. And she said, don't eat it. Wow. He's one of the guys that come in here, and his pants is hanging to here. We try to catch those guys when they come in and ask them to please pull their pants up, especially on a Sunday with all the church folks and the older ladies and stuff. OK, I appreciate that, having the pants pulled up on Sundays <laughs> in front of the church <laughs> congress. But whether he's got these pants around his ankles, he has a right yeah, to complain about salty food. Let's get that clear. Yeah. Yeah? Who's right? Who's wrong? Well, please. they're wrong because they think I'm mean when I don't allow them to do something that they shouldn't do. Yes, I do yell sometimes because after I ask you to do something five or six times and it's not getting done, I think I'm too soft. I need to put my foot down if you do something and you should be terminated. Wow. But no, soft-hearted me, I give everybody another chance. There's always something. When I go back there, they're on their phone. I mean, all gathered. I've been back there when there was five people on their phones at one time, especially you. No, it's not right. OK, you saying that never happens? No. Every time your phone vibrates, you go to the bathroom 15 and times really a day. I really go to the bathroom. I follow her to the bathroom. And you heard me talking yeah. one time. One Several time. Several times. No. You never know when no. I'm following you. I drink, like, over two gallons of water a day. The only way you drink two gallons of water unless you had hot pipes. Uh-uh. It's from the hot kitchen. <laughs> when you're out drinking or whatever, that gives you hot pipes. No, uh-uh. I can't deal with everybody's personal problems. And it's like, I'm Dr. Phil. Now I feel like I'm uh, Jerry Springer. <laughs> 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 this is serious. It's not funny to me. 
They don't understand. I am one person, and I have to deal with all of you. And I'm like really getting fed up behind it. This is crazy. And everybody always late. Everybody, especially Mike. Every single day. <sighs> I'm very disappointed because I don't feel like they respect me enough. And all these years I put into what I'm doing, this is like frustrating to me. And if I don't get Chef Ramsey's help, I am gonna lose what I have within a month's time. I really need his help. Having already witnessed the major rift between Miss Jean and her staff, Chef Ramsay is ready to try some good old-fashioned soul food. Okay. Hello. Here you go. Thank you. Okay. Right. I'd like to order a few of the key elements of any good soul food restaurant. Okay. First off, I'll go for the chicken dinner. Um, we don't have that available right now. No? No. No chitlins. What a shame. Uh, some fried corn, please. We don't have that. Okay. I have the red beans. We don't have the red beans. There's a black eyed piece. We don't have that either. Whitey. No. Veggie platter. No. Sweet potato pie. No. Mashed potato. Not right now, no. I don't even think we have gravy. Seriously. Why have a menu if two thirds of it's off? <sighs> oh dear. Uh, you got pork chops? Yes. Bingo. Let's go for the ribs. Okay. And the mac and cheese. Okay. Let's start off with that. As the food's ready, just uh, bring it. Thank you. Though. Okay. Okay, ribs, mac and cheese. <laughs> Michael, please. What? No playing around. Mm. Ah. Wow, I mean, that's just like sugar syrup. Dana, can I change that, please? It's so sweet. How much sugar goes in there? I'm not sure. It's probably just poured in there till it's sweet enough. Yeah, that's sweet enough, right? I'll just go straight to uh, water, please. Water, Thank sure. You. Lee said the sweet tea is too sweet. That's like southern tea, and they call it sweet tea. It's supposed to be sweet. That's why they call it sweet tea. So depressing. What's that there? Two seconds. What is that bike? What's the bike there for? This is the exercise bike. Is a gym here? Just no, just for bike. But what's it for? For her when she feels the exercise. I've never seen anything like that. Wow. How's that, darling? Jesus. Did somebody sit on that? <laughs> what happened? It came out like that. It came out like that? Yes, yes. came out like that. Did, did somebody sit on that? No, sir. Can the lady not have a decent bun? Yes, she can. She can. Crazy. Wow. Uh, Miss Jean, what is this? Please tell me that the bun didn't go out looking like I that. I just, I'm so good. I really didn't look. I, I cannot believe that. Look at this shit. And then y'all be talking about it's me. Who oh, sent something out there looking like this? Look at that. I mean, come on. I mean, how did they get smashed up the first time? I don't know. How can somebody mishandle bread? What's going on in that kitchen? Whoever threw them up, they, they don't give a shit. They just smash shit up, put it on the shelf. This is what I'm dealing with, but it's not staff problem. They don't care how it looks. I don't understand why nobody don't get it. I mean, come on. Wow. Chanel. Go, oh, God damn. I just put the three together that he should get, and you went and grabbed something First else. First of all, you told me to get this right. stuff ready. No, you, you got it looking like a slop plate. You see me wiping it off, Miss Jane. Don't get frustrated and take it out on me. But you have to learn. You don't plate food up and hand it to somebody any kind of way. Shoot. <sighs> My gosh, I was so underpaid. Is that for me? Yeah. Wow. All right, we Thank have you. the ribs and the rest is the coming ribs. out. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. How is it? They have a weird saltiness to them, almost like they've been in a brine. Would you find out and just ask them? Sure. You think of ribs and the excitement, the stickiness, the deliciousness of it, but they're very salty. Yeah. He said they're salty. It was almost like they were in a brine, and nothing was that impressive to them. They taste salty to you? No. Nope. This is soul food, and I really don't think Chef Ramsay know how to cook soul food. Just like I wouldn't know how to make food that British eat. Here's the mac. It's nice and hot. Sizzle. Right. OK. So, Chanel, are you going to start the pork chops? Just one pork chop. Yeah, one pork chop. I'm scared to cook it. Here's the mac and cheese. 
Where's that been? It's bubbling away. Can you hear that? I... Has that been in the microwave? Yes. What, for three days? Can you hear it crackling? Yes, I do. It sounded like the little Rice Krispie Treats with the little elves and didn't look that good. Thank you. OK. Depressing. One thing that should always stand out is a bloody good mac and cheese, and that's just bland, overcooked, and just dreadful, and really, really bad. Don't cook it too, too fast. When you cook pork chops, you got to stand right there and keep turning and keep turning it. Miss Jean nitpicks. You just want to tell her, get the hell out the kitchen. Why is it so much smoke? I don't know. Might be from the grease. Damn. Something flew in my eye. Darling, I'll finish with that, thank you. How is it? Mac and cheese, well, ooh, ouch. It's bland, there's no seasoning, and it's just cooked to hell. OK. He said to macaroni and cheese, it's bland. It's what? It's bland. That's good. Taste it. It's real good. I'm not going to say the macaroni is not good when it is good. Tell my poor job. Uh, you need wow. another set of silk. No, that's no, fine, thank you, sweet. How sad does that look? Honestly, come on. How fucking pressing is that? Are you serious? Could y'all please come look at the pork chop? Please. He got it sitting up. <laughs> I'm just like the map of America. Stand on the East Coast. There's California where that little dark spot is. Come to Central, Midwest. And we have Seattle. We're here. Pittsburgh. God bless America. <laughs> Fuck off, fly. <laughs> Chanel, did you taste it? If you got to stand up, that means it's too hard. I'm not the cook. OK, so I see you had a chance to taste the pork chop. Uh-huh. And uh, what did you think? Yeah, dry, like um, a mouthful of sand. Okay. It's drier than the Sahara Desert. All right. Even the flies no longer interested. OK, is there anything else you wanted me to get for you? Or? A wheel for that bike out there. That way, I can get the fuck out of here. <laughs> he said that this was dry like a mouthful of sand. He said even the flies no longer take interest in it. Is it dry? Mm -hmm. I still stand by my food because I put all I have into it and I work hard. Oh, dear. Dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. My lunch was a joke. And anything connected to soul, passion, heart, you've all fallen out of love. I mean, how can a soul food restaurant miss the staples? No red beans, no black eyed peas, no mashed potatoes. The ribs, salty. I mean, a real weird saltiness, because it's like. Season them up. You yeah. season them up. So they're salty, and then they're sweet as anything with that barbecue sauce on there. And then the pork chop. I mean, I was holding out for the pork chop. It was dry. The mac and cheese, I mean, it was just disappointing. I think it was good. I think the mac and cheese is fucking disgusting. Well, I don't, chef. Come on. You know, the macaroni and cheese, we haven't had any complaints about it yet. No, because you have no customers, my darling. That's why. We don't, we don't have any customers. That's why. And you want my help? Get a grip. I'm not going to take too much criticism about my food. All right. Go on now. I told Chef Ramsay I do wear a lot of hats. And I feel like if he don't like my fried chicken and he don't like my macaroni and cheese, then you know what Chef Ramsay can do? He can wear one of my hats. And that's one of them. That's how I feel. It didn't take long for Chef Ramsay to see that Miss Jean is in denial about her food. I'm telling y'all, I'm not going to sit here and be embarrassed tonight. Y'all might as well get it right. Now it's time to see how this restaurant functions in a dinner service. Welcome to Jean Southern Cuisine. Oh, Chef hi. Ramsay, how are you? Oh, brother, how are you? This is Am I'm Amelia. I'm the host. Amelia. You can see me today. Excellent. Um, and that looks like it's the waiting room of a doctor's clinic. OK, Chef Ramsay. No? <laughs> Don't you think? Is it looking fighting? 
No, it doesn't. I feel like I'm about to get my tooth pulled. Oh, customers quick. Jeez. I'm sorry, excuse me. How are you both? Now, are we looking at a uh, root canal issue? <laughs> Okay, I mean, come on, they, they're waiting. Okay. Will you come with me, please? Yeah. Thank Good luck. You. Uh, Good luck. Oh, my God, it is a mess. <laughs> the doctor will see you now. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> oh, man. It's funny. All right, and how are you folks doing today? Good. Summer, I saw be your server. I'll do the ribs. We're going to have the fried pork chops. OK. Right, Mike, how are you? OK, Chef. So, orders come in. Where do the orders go? The slips, when the orders come, they put them on the magnet. On there? Oh, I've been in that refrigerator, Chef. So, you just, you just, you just stick them on there. That's it? Yes, Chef. Wow, this is just insane. All right, because Chanel, this is what we're going to do. We're going to get these orders out of here, OK? Follow my lead, OK? No, we're all doing our own ticket. Because we get confused when we share the same ticket. I'll do a ticket, you do a ticket. I'll do a ticket, you do We can't do the same ticket. Calm down, we gotta calm get down. Up. We got to get the orders out. No calm down. Orders need to go out. I've worked in quite a few restaurants. I've never seen a restaurant run like this in my entire life. The kitchen staff doesn't know how to run a kitchen, and I don't think that Miss Jean fully knows how to run a restaurant. So the end result is just complete and utter chaos. Catfish is up. Oh, Lord. Somehow, this disorganized kitchen has managed to get the food out. Yeah, the pork chops. Thank you. Thank you. Unfortunately, the customers are finding little to cheer about. Is everything OK? The pork chops feel like they've been cooked for like five hours. OK. Thanks. What's wrong? Um, he said the pork chops were overdone. I mean, that's just, uh, man, soul food. I want you to serve that on fucking death row. Food is not coming out right. We need the food to get out of here. Let's go. No more bullshit. Let's go. Wow. Oh, this is so depressing. <coughs> Damn. I said, Jay, you really do need a job. I mean, like, I'm broke as it. So you're on go. your cell phone. Yeah. You're working. But I'm... No, yes, sir, I am. Dude, you're on the phone. I'm on the phone. That's exactly that. I am. Um, you're right. Uh, any reason why? Not interested? Uh... Well, because there was no customers out here. Yeah, no just ask him. Yeah, she's right. Staff don't give a fuck, and they're always on the phone. I walk out, and you're on your phone. Oh, she's talking about the people in the kitchen. Oh, the no, most. I'm talking about you you're on talking the about phone. Me? Yes, I'm guilty. Yeah, there you go. Guilty. I want to get straight to the point. OK. Um, so why do you think it's necessary to be on your phone in the middle of service? I'm working. I can see out the window. Somebody comes, I can see them. Right, Amelia? Uh, when we see somebody, you go over there and get them. Wow. I can see out the window, chef. I can see out the window. <laughs> Yes, Chef. Did you hear the chef come out here and fuss at me? Did you hear it? He came out and he said, I'm doing your cell phone. He said, you just don't give a shit. I said, yes, I do. I said, there's nobody else. Uh -oh. Second time on your phone. Chef. No, 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 no. Right now, this lady has got the world on her shoulders. And the first thing she told me this morning was the fact that her staff are on the phone whilst the dining room is full. And you've been on there twice now. It's so unfair for you to go back on your phone. I'm a volunteer. Let's make that very clear. Even if you volunteer, you have to follow the rules. I mean, I'm, I can't be up here to see what you guys are doing. What are we supposed do? I told you, Jean, if forth. you needed help in the dining room, I'd be happy you to come do back. that. There's two people up here. You told come me back, to leave my house. Come back That's my act. job. All this time you I asked you that. not to leave the front, it's when she wasn't here. That is not true. And that's bullshit. That is bullshit. Going home? Yes. Bye. Bye. Miss Jean, somebody need to be rung out. Yeah, she can she can do it. She can do it all. I'm done. I'm painting with chicken wings. Please. Just a minute. Let me get somebody to ring you up. Bye. That's what I'm saying, Chef. I can't be everywhere. They know not to do that, and they do it anyway. They don't care. They know better. They know I tell them that all the time. Can I get you guys some more sweet tea? Chicken with some It's a little dry. A lot okay. dry. Do you want me to take it back? Yeah. I'll get you guys some new ones, okay? Okay, guys. Oh, no. What's wrong? The chicken was dry. Oh, my God. Chef Mike, how old is that? Is that left over from lunch? Yeah. That's not cool tonight. That's, that's old, Chef. How does chicken get that dry? Guess from being under that light, Chef. 
Have a little taste. It's dry. Dry, right, dry, right, chef. It is. But you're just fucking yourselves. You don't need me to tell you that you're completely upside down. You're serving lunchtime chicken, and it's dry. Who's paying for this? Mike. And do you have extra money to do this? No, I do not. Not at all, chef. And I mean, it has to stop. It really has to stop. You all really have to learn to follow instructions. It's just that simple. You gotta have that passion for the food. You cannot continue to send food out like this because it's my ass on the line. My ass on the line. Nobody else. The restaurant is falling apart. I can't afford it. This is my whole life. This is all I have. And it's going to hell. I mean, it's, it's pain. It's killing me. It's tearing me apart to know this is happening. I can't continue to do it no more. It's very embarrassing. I can't be everywhere. I can't be at the front desk watching people on the telephone. And I come back here, my food's not going out right. I can't do it by myself. After a dinner service that is fraught with problems with the staff. You going home? Yes. Bye. Bye. And the kitchen. You're serving lunchtime chicken, and it's dry. Miss Jean has reached her breaking point. I can't continue to do it no more. Keep it strong, Lord. Keep it strong. Come on now. You know you got you know I got your back. God loves you, and so do I. He come here to help us, and we, it's like we almost can't even be helped. Sit down. Tough day. Yes, Chef. Jean, I totally get it. I feel for you, but the system is horrendous. It is. Yet no one seems to care. I no do care. care. I care. I do. That's I why I'm here. I swear I do. But we have to work together. And I need your help. And I'm willing to. Like I said, I'm willing to do whatever. But sometimes it becomes hard when I really say, I need you to do something, and it doesn't get done. But the system they're working against is yours. And the system is bad. Let me tell you. Tomorrow, I want to see a bit of an effort, OK? The three of you together. OK. Good night. My way, Chef. Good night. 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 And I'll see you tomorrow. OK. In the community of Wilkinsburg, Miss Jean's reputation has been tarnished. Good morning. Please, take a seat. And before Chef Ramsay can move forward with any changes to the restaurant, he needs Jean to fully understand this issue. OK, Miss Jean. There's a lot of love for you in your community. Yes. Unfortunately, that positivity is not shared by everybody. So it is time for the world premiere of the other side of Miss Jean. Roll it, guys. We just had a really bad experience. She's not really customer oriented. She doesn't care. She needs to work on her attitude. She's me. I told her I'll never come in here and I won't send none of my customers in here to you ever again because I don't deserve to, to be treated like that. Miss Jean, remember this. It takes years to get a customer. It takes a second to lose one and you've lost one to me. Wow. Jean, how'd you explain this? you have a tendency to
to talk to your customers the same way as you talk to your staff. And as soon as anyone in the business stops respecting their customers, it's time to close the doors. And if you don't, they will close your restaurant for you. There needs to be an attitude adjustment, but not just by Miss Jean, by everybody. My big question to you, are you prepared to change? Are you committed? Yes. Yes, Chef. Miss Jean. Yes, Chef. Good. I am anxious to make some substantial changes. OK? See you shortly. OK, Chef. Are you OK, Miss Jean? I feel hurt. I had no knowledge that these people felt that I had been mean to them. I want to make it right, and I will fight to make it right. With Miss Jean now realizing the damage she has done, Chef Ramsay moves on to repairing her reputation. He has gathered former diners, and now it's up to Miss Jean to do the rest. I appreciate all of you being here, and I want to apologize for anyone that have been in my restaurant and haven't been treated nice by me because I really appreciate you from my heart. And I can't do it without you. I really, really need you. And I'm going to guarantee you will not be served without a smile. You're looking at the new Miss Jean. I was given another chance to make it right with my customers. And I'm just, I'm just so happy. I'm so happy. Thank I love you, you guys. Love you too. With Miss Jean's reputation already on the mend in the community, Chef Ramsay moves forward with one of his biggest makeovers ever. Good morning. Good morning, Chef. Ladies, are you ready to see? Oh my gosh. The new Miss Jean Southern Cuisine. Let's go. Oh my Here gosh. Come in, please. Oh my gosh. Yes. It's a miracle. <laughs> come here, baby. Oh, oh, oh. Wow, so come on. Oh, this is oh. the soul right here. Now, this place is gorgeous. Yeah. It is gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. Gone are those green, cold walls. Now we have that nice, attractive, warm gray. It's bigger, warmer. It's just beautiful, inviting. With stunning murals etched onto the walls, it gives the restaurant a warm personality. It doesn't look like a robbery anymore. Look at the handcrafted tables made out of reclaimed wood from a local barn. And that very picture there, that's the barn with these new tables. You've now gone from a 45-seater restaurant to a 75-seater restaurant. Wow. More importantly, this restaurant has soul. Yes. yes. It's a miracle. It's so wonderful. This is like a dream come true. I mean, it's a real dream come true. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. How beautiful is this? Oh, my God. My goodness me. Staff, look what we have. Look what we yeah. have. Yeah. And then you also have new Miss G. Oh, oh yes. Oh, my God. To go along with the dramatic change to the look of the restaurant. Take a menu, please. OK, sir. Thank you. Ladies, come in, please. Chef Ramsay has come up with an equally dramatic change to the food. Take a look at that. Presentation is beautiful. You think of soul food and the message it sends out, comfort and a bit of fun. Yes, it does. And the good news is everything on the menu tonight is available right. in stock. All right. Amazing. Let's start off at the top here, the appetizers. Catfish, po' boy. Oh, my gosh. Dressed in a French roll. Mm. Next to that, you've got the barbecue pulled pork sliders with fresh coleslaw. Following on, the entrees. Slow braised oxtail, absolutely delicious. Next to that, it wouldn't be soul food unless we have catfish, blackened or fried. Yes. Yeah. One more little thing. We have stunning new china, courtesy of Niagara China. Beautiful. Wonderful, great. Dig in, have a little taste. I don't even know where to start. Mm-mm-mm. Mm. mm. I didn't feel like Chef Ramsay could cook the soul food, but Chef Ramsay has proved me wrong about cooking. It just shows I could be wrong sometimes. I don't know what to eat next. I know. <laughs> wow. I think the new food is very good. <laughs> I'll make some more. These are good. Mm. 
delicious. Mm -hmm. so good. Mm -hmm. Yes, it did. <laughs> oh, my oh my God. Wow. Lord have mercy. Oh my goodness. Who would have ever thought to put watermelon with red onions? Mm. Miss Jean's now looks and feels like a new restaurant, and there is a buzz in the town. Everybody wants to check out the relaunch, including the town's mayor. Okay, this is our table? Yes, this is your table. It's a lot different, isn't it? I love the tables. For tonight's dinner service, Chef Ramsay has reorganized the kitchen and has put Miss Jean at the helm as the expediter. When I yell at you, yell back, so I know you got hey, it. Yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. Let's see what you got, Money Mike. Okay, first order. I need dip chili, fried green tomatoes, let's go. Fried the ma'am. Perfect. Step up. All right, how long on the fried green tomatoes? Fried tomatoes be up in about two minutes. Table two, I need two sliders. Fried tomatoes, dip poppies. This kitchen that never had a system before is adapting well. Looking good, looking good. Sliders up. And appetizers are making their way quickly out to the dining room. Dip. That's a nice presentation. Oh my God. <laughs> that sounds good. Really good. Oh. Mm. Meatloaf, one jambalaya. Oh my gosh, I need these orders out. Marissa, table 12's ready. Marissa, table three. Come on guys, food's getting cold. While the kitchen seems to be pushing out food, there's a lack of coordination between Miss Jean and the front of house. Marissa, table two. Marissa. Like this is frustrating. You know, all your orders was ready right there. It's just hard to breathe whenever you, you just hear your name being called. I'm getting ready to leave. I can't take this. We were the first to sit down. I mean, we just got a slow waitress. I'm ready to go. The mayor's got impatient, guys, yet. Yeah? Let's not screw up now. Marissa, I can't take this. I really just can't. I'm so stressed out and I keep getting yelled at. I'm so busy. Do you want to leave? I don't no, no, want to do this listen. anymore. Marissa, Marissa. This is a disaster. I don't even put that camera in my face. I want to leave. Stop. Everybody stop. Everybody. I'm so stressed out and I keep getting yelled at. It's relaunch night. I don't know you can't do this anymore. Marissa! And server Marissa is having a difficult time. This is a disaster. And her tables are beginning to suffer. I don't even put that camera in my face. Stop. Everybody stop. Everybody. Marissa. Calm down a minute. It's new to all of us. We have to work together. And this is the way that we have to communicate in order to get everything out. You're going to be fine, OK? You know, imagine a chef wasn't here helping us do this. I know, I know. Just be, you, oh, you're going to be OK. My name was getting called and like, it's OK. I know it's a good dying. thing. We just got to work together. It's cool, busy. You're gonna be fine. Let's go. It's Come on, big deep breath. Let's go. You'll be fine. For the first time tonight, I saw Miss Gina as a leader. She's doing her job to help her employees get through it the best that she can. Fried chicken and the oxtail. I'll be right back with oh. you. <laughs> Duh. I'll be right back with your side. All right. I got food. Jambalaya. Yes, ma'am. This is yes, superb. Very good. Welcome to the new Miss G's. Enjoy everything because you know what? I'm loving it. <laughs> I am feeling terrific. I am feeling so wonderful. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Come on, guys. We're almost there. We're rolling. We rolling. We rolling. I'm real proud of Miss Jane. I'm surprised at Miss Jane. She used to make you not want to do it, but tonight she's calm. She got a smile on her face. <laughs> Woo! That's not the Miss Jane I know. Let me tell you something. Tonight we made a major transformation in this restaurant. And you, Miss Jean, you handled the pressure and turned it into something positive. Thank you, Chef. Miss Mean has left the building. Yes, Chef. Let me tell you. <laughs> yes, Chef. Hallelujah. Thank you. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. The wonderful things that yes. Chef Ramsay said, yes. I can't even explain the feeling that I have right now. Come here, you. Let's say goodbye. He made me just feel like just going on, and I could just conquer anything now. I am going to miss you. I mean, you. I wouldn't give this up for nothing in the world. You are an amazing lady. You're a very special person. I'm rooting for you. Thank you, okay? Chef. I am so, thank you, Chef. I'm just like, I'm overwhelmed. Thank you so much. I'm not going to let you down. Look out for yourself. I'm not going to let you down. Thank okay. you, Chef. And take care. Thank you. Oh, the greatest. 
Let me tell you, rarely in my life have I met a individual with a bigger heart as Miss Jean. Yes, she lost her way, but I strongly believe right now she's on the right track. My only wish is that her staff are there to support her. Wow, Miss Jean, no more mean. In the days that followed, the mayor of Wilkinsburg honored Miss Jean for her years of service to the community. It is my honor to proclaim this Miss Jean's Day, June 3rd, and for this day forward. I am very grateful, and I thank all of you from the bottom of my heart. I thank you. The soul is back into Miss Jean's new restaurant. And Chef Ramsey, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Seattle, Washington. Yeah. Known for its great coffee and superior produce. Just north of the city lies the up-and-coming neighborhood of Finney Ridge, home to Yanni's Greek restaurant, run by Peter Augustillo and his family. My dad decided that we should open our own restaurant in 1984. And in 2007, my dad passed me the torts, gave me the keys to the restaurant. There we are. What do you need? I need another Saganaki. No. When we first opened, business was a success. Opa! But now it seems like this neighborhood is changing. Are we open yet? And um, now people just don't seem to be coming to Yanni's anymore. I don't know, guys. I don't know. My husband was stuck in the past. The neighborhood's different. It's not a neighborhood that's different. It's the attitudes are different. And he doesn't listen to any of us. The melanzana dinner, hot potatoes. Written here, potatoes. Don't fucking tell me that next time, OK? You, you just spoil shit. And the only thing he does is yell. Where's my plates? I need plates to check it before you serve it. My dad is an absolute control freak. Yo, yo, oh. And sometimes I can't take his derogatory tone. Elise, let's get going. What, are you guys in the guidelines? My daughter, Elise, is kind of like her dad. That's fucking ridiculous. She doesn't take criticism well. I don't think the man likes garlic. Well, tell him to get the fuck out of a Greek restaurant. And I think that that's why her and her dad have problems, because they have that same personality. Crying again. Taria, she can cry in an instant. <laughs> Stop crying. She's known for being very emotional. Ugh, what now? <sighs> there was too much cinnamon. There is nothing she won't cry about. Now what? Everything was too garlicky. <laughs> There's so many things wrong with this restaurant, but the main problem, Peter doesn't change. You know, a lot of our fixes seem to be really pretty simplistic. Excuse me. Cut the fucking crap. I don't have to change. They have to change their attitude. I see things more than you think. I just can't fix everything. Things have gotten so bad that we don't have medical insurance. We can't pay our bills on time. The mortgage is always late. We've hit rock bottom. Of course, it's raining in Seattle. Before Chef Ramsey heads to the restaurant, owner Peter has requested some time alone with him. Hello. How are you, sir? Chef Ramsey, how are you? Good to see you. At where else in Seattle but a coffee shop? Tell me how it started. Tell me back to the beginning. We opened 1984, and it was just me and my dad, and uh, it was uh, very good. It Making money? Making good money, yes. And then uh, 2007, my dad decided that, you know, it's time for me to pull back. You took over? Yeah, you Full know, time. he gave me the torch, and uh, unfortunately, uh, our neighborhood have changed. A uh, new young generation moved in. Yep. And I think they're afraid to give us a try. Right. You know. Not good. How much money are you losing? Between uh, eight and ten thousand. A month. Yeah. How are you surviving? I mean, do you have money put we away? We cut down staff and everything else. You know, so my wife has to take over the dining room. Plus, my two daughters work in the restaurants. What and, do they do? Um, the one that works in the kitchen with me is Elise. Elise? And, and then that... the other one is uh, Sarah. Teria. Teria. How hands-on are you? Uh, four hands. They gave some responsibilities to my wife, but I still feel that I have to look over everybody. What's the problem? When it comes to business, 
I don't think they're focused. Right. You know, so the devotion is not there. Devotion? Yeah. Do they listen to you? Uh, no. no. No, not really. But what are you like as a boss? Really? I'm not uh, strong enough, I think. You're not strong enough? Yeah, I give in. Wow. It sounds like all the pressure are on your shoulders. I mean, that's... It is on my shoulders. So what's right with the restaurants? Well, I think we have good product. So the food's good. How would you rate that out of 10? If not 10, 9. Oh, wow. That's good. 9 out of 10. That's amazing. I'm going to finish up my coffee. Thank you for being open and Thanks, honest. Sir. I'll see you back at the restaurant. Thank you very much. Thank you, please. Oh, hello. Hi. How are we? <laughs> very well. Welcome to Yanni's. Thank you. Good I'm to see Karen. You. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet well. you. Good to you. He's here? Yeah. No way. This is Taria, right. my eldest daughter. Uh, Hi. The... Nice to meet you. Taria. Wow, wow, wow. And this is little sis, yeah. right? Elise. Elise, nice to see you. Nice to meet you. Please, take a seat. I'm really excited to see Chef Ramsey and for him to tell my father, you're not only taking your restaurant down, but you're bringing your family down with you. What I'd like to do is get your perspective, a little insight to Yanni's. You know, there's no, no fun anymore. You know, there's no frills. Um, things are tight, very tight. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> Why are you upset? Teresa is very emotional. Oh, really? I'm yeah. sorry. It's okay. tough to see my parents struggle when they put so much effort and to know that we're struggling just to barely make ends meet. It's hard. I'm sure it's very hard. Well, how long has it been that bad? You know, a couple years, mm -hmm. a couple years. We're trying to figure out what, what we can do. It's definitely outdated. The food is outdated? The decor. The decor is outdated. I think some outdated. of the food is outdated, though, too. Some of the food could definitely be presented differently. Why hasn't it changed? I think um, my husband's very stubborn. He's that stubborn? Yes, it's very, very. Why, though? He can't just do, do it. it. Have you mentioned to him? Have you? Yeah. I mean, All the time. Could... Fights, many fights. All the time. Many fights. It's. It's virtually impossible. But he told me he gives in and allows you to do what you want, and he's too easy on you guys. <laughs> too easy. You know, too lax. No. no. No? No. Never. He's not laid back? No. no. Never. But he rates the food 9 out of 10. Um, he thinks the family are not pulling their weight. He's concerned whether his daughters are in or out. It's hard to be in when you can't have the full support that you deserve. Or when he never listens to anything you have to say. He says the opposite in terms well, of he he's gives bullshit. it easier. <laughs> he is not. That's untrue. That's really? untrue. Yes. Absolutely. It doesn't make sense. I don't know who you met this morning. Yeah. Let me go and get Peter. My husband is in total denial of the real issues and why the restaurant is failing. I need to get to the bottom of this. I mean, you know, you're telling me one side, the fact that they don't do enough. They're telling me they're scared to step up and change because you won't allow change. I'm always the, the, the bad guy because I want things to get done right. You just said to me an hour ago, you're the relaxed guy. You're the one that well, gives in. But see, when I, when I raise my voice, I'm a bad guy. But it's what comes out of your mouth. It's because it's you don't know the how, problem. how to speak to people correctly. Because they're not committed. They don't focus Is on the job. Is that the only problem you have with us? No, I want you to be a leader here. In this dining room, It's really hard to be a leader to... when no, I am a waitress. A I don't give a shit. I want things done in the dining room like they're supposed to be. And I don't think this gets done. They're not servers from the neighborhood. They're your daughters. They're here to do a job. This is a job. This is my income. Do you want them out? No, I want them to step up. I can't do everything anymore. We're right here. You know, I, I can't do everything every anymore. day. We've all said we want to be here. We're the ones asking for change. What's the change? Decor. Everything. The whole restaurant. Move forward. Throw away the menu. Start fresh. Simplify. That's the only Trust thing. People. I mean, I don't understand why it's such a hard step. You know, it's hard for me to just give up this place. We're it's not hard asking for... you to give up. No, we're, we're just asking, asking to, you change. to change. I can't. Within minutes of his arrival, Chef Ramsay was struck with the negativity within the family. Thank you. Now he's hoping that he can find something positive in the food. That's not all on the menu, surely, to help. It's a oh, Bible. It's an encyclopedia. Five, six pages of menu. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine specials. I have told my father to change the menu many, many times. How do you remember all these? Most of this hasn't changed. Wow. So. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. 
My father is very stubborn, and he needs an Englishman to give him a good kick in the ass. Um, am I seeing things? Pumpkin hummus? Pumpkin hummus. Come on, stop. Yeah. I have been to thousands of restaurants. I have never, ever seen a pumpkin hummus. It's not even Halloween. I'm going to have to try it. OK. After that, how can I not take masaka if I'm in a Greek restaurant? OK. And the house gyro. OK. Thank you, Dane. Pumpkin hummus? This is his order. Pumpkin hummus, side house gyro, and a side moussaka. Whatever the chef wants. The decor is hideous. I mean, it does feel like you're back in the 80s. That ceiling, honestly, it's like a kid's bedroom. Wow. Pumpkin hummus. Hummus coming up. Here's your hummus. Don't make it too oily. Wow, look at this, okay. baby. Then whose recipe is this? This is Peter's. Right. Would you join me? That does not make sense. I don't like the combination. And the garlic in there. Mm, well, Blood garlic is a lot. Oh, my god. Garlic's a lot. Our Jeez. hummus is really, really garlicky. Wow. You want me to take that back? Oh, yes. It was a great shame. Here. Thank you, man. Well, one thing for sure. Let's get that right. There will never be a problem with vampires here, let me tell you. I mean, that is hideous. Not a fan of the pumpkin hummus. And he says it was really too garlicky. I don't put much garlic. People complain there's not enough garlic. I put a little extra garlic, it's too much garlic. <laughs> like what? There's no win situation. Why are you crying? I don't know. Put your head up. Hold yourself together. I'm giving him the moussaka. There are some things on the menu that I beg my dad to get off because I don't personally like them. But there's a lot of things on our menu that I think are the best, like the moussaka. I would say that's a 10 out of 10. Wow, look at this, okay. baby. Moussaka. Lovely. Look at that. And that's uh, freshly baked uh, in the oven? Yes. Nice. Thank you. You're welcome. It's nice. Pretty weird, the... The meat is very sweet, and yet the eggplant is very bitter. The eggplant is undercooked. It's picking it apart. Greasy as anything at the bottom. A huge pool of grease. I love moussaka, but that is miles off. Moussaka, who suck. Karen, um, yeah. this moussaka was just so greasy. So that is a big letdown. Yes, I'll let Elise know she'll be disappointed. Not as disappointed as me. Wow, wow, wow. Any more bad news? OK. Oh, my god. Lisa is too oily. Doesn't like it. I can't make a marinara without oil. He thinks the moussaka is greasy. Come on. That's ridiculous. I think sometimes the sauce, though, the red sauce is a little greasy. I mean, you can see the oil. You want to go sit with him? You want to go sit with him and chit chat how to fucking criticize my food? Get out of my kitchen. Just please. Please, I don't need your criticism. Out of the kitchen. Nice, 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 nice. Right now, I'm just fucking pissed. <laughs> what now? Everything, you know, it's outdated, it's oily, it sucks. Stop crying. <laughs> I need a house hero a la carte. I got it. Out. I don't want to go out. Over out, there. out. Okay. Okay. So, the house hero. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Trea. Yes, Hello. chef. You okay? Mm hmm. Yeah. You sure? Mm -hmm. Come on. Oh, God, she's crying over there. It's tough. I know it's tough. I'm sorry. Trust me, the only thing so far that's got a 9 out of 10 is the pita bread. Your food's miles away. 
as well as it may hurt, I am so sorry, but I'm only here for one reason, and that's to get this place fixed. I know, I appreciate it. Okay. I hope you enjoy this one. So do I. Thank you. What is in there? Come on. Seriously? It looks like a plate full of puke. Look at it. What a mess. Karen, two seconds. Um, mm. All that sauce on there, mm -hmm. you know, that's not normal, is it? Oh, really? yes, yes. Really? Yeah. When was the last time you tasted this? Um, I've, I've had it. I don't really like it. You walk through the door and you see the decor dated. I didn't think the food would be beyond dated. All right, I'll take it back. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow. He says, our food is dated. The decor is dated. Our food is dated. What the hell does it mean, dated? Old school cooking, Peter. Dated. Fucking amazing. It's fucking amazing. He didn't like anything. Oh, my god. Oh, my shit. This doesn't like nothing. The pita was good. How about mashed potatoes? Did you like that? No, they'd be too salty. This is going to be the longest night of my life. Peter needs to hear these things because the restaurant needs to change. You ask him to come out? Sure. Please. Maybe Chef can get through to him, because we can. Listen, you told me when we first met that your food was 9 out of 10. I think so. Peter. Well, this is the authentic food. Authentic food. Let me tell you, that is not authentic Greek food. Pumpkin hummus. Hideous. There's some things that work with pumpkin. Hummus is not one of them. And the gyro? Whose idea was it to macerate everything with the sauce on there? What, is that? It's something we've had for years. It's like a litre of sauce. I mean, you say it was bad. I don't think it's bad. Yeah, OK. Moussaka? I mean, it's so sweet. Greasy. Eggplant, undercooked. So I had that bitter aftertaste of the eggplant at the bottom. Undercooked? When it's completely white in the center, it's not cooked long enough. I disagree. If it's not white, and if you're talking to you want it black, you want it burnt? I'm not asking you to take it personally. I'm not. Take it professionally. You can give me attitude. Do whatever you want. I don't want to have attitude. But if you want me to come in and blow smoke up your ass and tell you it's delicious, yeah, I'm not the one. Peter, have you not thought about changing stuff? These are foods I grew up with. What am I supposed to change? You've got to take your head out of the clouds and get into the 21st century. I mean, you don't even realize how much damage you're causing yourself and your family. It's got to stop. I need some fresh air. I, I'm, I'm going to be back for service. I want to see how this place functions. I don't think it can be as depressing as what I've just experienced. I can still taste that fucking garlic. That was embarrassing. I'm not going to crumble because one person says that our food is crap. Shut up. I'm not even talking to you. Stop crying. You're just afraid to get rid of the old menu. What do you do with the customers that drive all the way to come here and enjoy something that they've had for the last 30 years? Old ways are not working. If you're going to survive, you have to change. Can't let go of something. I mean, we've invested everything into this place. I'm not willing to throw it away because you can't change a menu. Your hands up! Corner! Move, move, move! It's dinner service at Johnny's. And while Chef Ramsay knows there are real issues with the food... Elise, you guys are supposed to call me the motherfucking... I haven't even there. looked at the new tickets yet. I'm... This is a two-part. Tonight, his main focus will be on how the kitchen operates. Elise, this is going to burn. Then I'll kick your ass. They're not burning. Elise, why is this here? I want the first ticket out. I didn't make it. You did. Don't tell me that next time, OK? Whatever. Enough with this. I don't need to babysit anybody here. Time to grow up. How's that Tiro Spano? Elise, I want you to read the tickets, because these guys are missing food. Shut up. Learn your job, damn it. My dad can bark orders, but you're not helping me by just, you know, bombarding me with everything I'm doing wrong. Wow. How's everything so far? This is all gristle. Gristle? This whole end is gristle. Oh. Like, 
so unhappy with the pork. <laughs> All right, I will be right back. All right, dinner coming back. It's full of gristle, it bent the fork, and he says that the orzo's overcooked. Come on, you know, it's like the end of the brizola. What do you expect? Come on. He said it was. I just want. Leave my window now. OK. Don't yell at me when I'm pissed. Get the lamb out now. I don't know if I can just. Want me to take it back? Yes, please. With customers having the same disappointing experience as he had at lunch. Damn, what happened? Everything was just bad. Oh, my god. Chef Ramsay decides to begin his inspection of the walk-in. What a mess. No date, nothing labeled. It's sticky, it stinks, and it's disgusting. How old is this stuff? Ugh, disgusting. What is that? Raw meat next to cooked meat. Seriously? What the hell? What is in here? Are you kidding me? Uh, chicken. Oh, my God. Poor bastard bird. Wow. Elise, put some food out. Who's this? Elise! What? Why are you guys leaving this? I want you to concentrate right here. I am. You just told me to kick food out. Do you have something to kick out? No, because you're okay. saying go, 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 and the lamb's not even ready. Lamb is ready. What is that? Just smell that for me. Just smell it. No, no, no. No, no, but it's not food. It's not food. We're not serving it. It's got fucking mold on top. It's moldy. What is that? It's Lamb? boiled beef. Boiled beef? Yeah. But just smell that, Peter. Just smell it. Elise, just two seconds, please. Yeah. Just smell that. Uh-huh. What does that smell to you? Um, it's bad. It's bad. What about the mold on top? I'm I'm not using that one. I'm using this fresh one. If you're not so using that, that then let's go the away. Fucking hell. What is that? This uh, chicken that we use for it. Oh my god, just touch that. I mean how? The stickiness of that. Elise! Elise! What? What I I I don't know what to say. Just touch that. Just touch it. Uh-huh. It's sticky. Release. Yeah. Come it's on. old. I'm not even using this. I don't know. It's old. That's the second thing you're telling me you're not even using it. What about the danger zone of it even just being in here? Okay. It's garbage. Karen, two seconds, please. This is in the fridge. Peter, how long has it been in here? Uh, probably four or five days. That doesn't go like that after four or five days. Come on. Four or five weeks. We don't even... Weeks. No way. We don't keep food longer than that. So beef stew with mold on top. Have you touched that, chicken? That was the fat of the beef. Don't you dare. Don't you fucking dare. I've... That wasn't fat. This chicken is multicolored, sticky, and you're saying it's four days. I don't know how long it's been in there. You don't know. I need you, you, and you outside. What about... Let me just show you one more thing. Flaming cheese. What the fuck is this? It's just old, old chicken. chicken. Another old, but we're not using that, are we? No, but no. why is it here? We, there, it's 86. Do you know what really fucks me off? So no one's caring. There's so many things wrong. And yet everybody's in denial. Let me just show you something here. I don't want to do this anymore. This is so embarrassing. He's really going to blast us like that. OK, well, hello. Look at the refrigerator. I mean, shit, why do we keep stuff that needs to be thrown away? I don't know. It needs okay, to be thrown away, but I'm not it. the only responsible one. I've never seen this before. Every fucking fridge is full of fresh stuff and old stuff. Unfortunately, the old stuff's tainted the fresh stuff. So what you think is fresh is no longer fresh. And those poor fuckers out there are eating this. Okay. No, you can't. I'm not going to let you cook anymore. Yeah, that's right. You want to continue cooking? You think it's funny, do you? No. Elise, if anyone can walk past rotten food in a fridge and continue cooking fresh, you shouldn't be fucking anywhere near food. And then when I hear, oh, I've never seen that before, then open your fucking eyes! 
just don't believe this. You know what happened to check things? I don't know what happened. What the fuck is this? Do you guys like this shit to drink that? Don't leave that is in there for so long. Look! Look in there! That's embarrassing! But we don't use it! I can't keep up with everything! I fucking babysit you like kids! And you still fuck me! I don't need to babysit! If I want to babysit, I go babysit my granddaughter! She's more fun than you guys! What is this? Chef Ramsay's inspection led to some shocking, disgusting discoveries. Every fridge is full of fresh stuff and old stuff. And Peter is pointing the finger at everyone else. Look! Look in there! I babysit you like kids, and you still fuck me. If I want to babysit, I go babysit my granddaughter. She's more fun than you guys. That's just like my father, you know, pushing the blame onto everybody else and not taking responsibility. It's frustrating. I'm sorry. I, I just want to know, are our tables getting our food? There's no food, Teria. Tell people I'm real sorry. Whatever they had, it's free. I'm real sorry. Just close the line down, man. I don't give a shit what you guys do. We need to shut down the restaurant. Why? We need to shut down the restaurant. No one's getting food. Comp them for whatever else they've had. OK. Just tell, we're done. tell them that we're done. So I'm sorry, but you guys aren't getting your food. We're having some problems in the kitchen, and you know, we hope that you'll come back again. Drinks around the house. Thank you for trying us. And have a good night. <laughs> this is not fair. I've never seen food like that. Explanation for all that in the refrigerator. I always tell these fucking guys to bring it. Okay, you know what though? You know? How about a system? A system. I can't there has be to on be. Top of everybody. No, you just I need can't. to have them. You know, have I, I, I a can't. system. You know, how many times do I have to fucking babysit? Really? You know what? Your problem is you want to be a babysitter. You no, don't I'm want to let them have fucking, fucking control of things. Okay? Then fire them. Things should be labeled. Things should be dated. Things should. I mean, we. It's basic. Basic. Last night, Chef Ramsay was disgusted and disappointed in the mess he uncovered in the kitchen. Today, he is hoping that Peter and Elise are no longer in denial. Good morning. Come through, please. Come over. Let's sit down over here. Right, how are we feeling? A little shaky. A little shaky. Yes, sir. You know, with the events that happened last night, uh, I think we're all embarrassed. Uh, we're here to listen to you, to show us a new way to do things. But at the same time, I cannot let go of some of the things that happened last night. Like what? Give me an example. The refrigerator back there wasn't as bad as I made out. Yes, sir. What I saw last night was disgusting. Your refrigeration unit was one of the most disgusting fridges I've ever seen. You are the owner. And it's about time that you, sir, start taking responsibility for what you're running. We are about fresh food, and I'm not going to serve my customers any spoiled food if I know it's spoiled. Never. The food that we served last night, it was fresh. Yesterday morning, I made this food. So you cannot tell me that we're sitting in the goddamn refrigerator and collecting mold and all that shit. We don't leave things like that that long. So you clearly don't know about the spoiled food in the fridge. Then do you think I'm going to serve that? Why is it there? 
My employees are not as stupid to do that. Oh, really? And we get it, and I... She just sat there like nothing's wrong. I never said nothing is wrong. Stood I said there. I would never serve oh, that. No, but it's our fault that we make up all these excuses. Stop the excuses. Let's just go forward. It... Yesterday was a disaster. Disaster. So can we put that in the past and just walk forward? But the food that I served to these people yesterday, last night, it was fresh to the day. So you can tell me that. Let's get real, shall we? Because if you're not going to listen and you're not going to take responsibility, I'm done. Oh, God. I'm out of here. With Peter refusing to really comprehend the problems of the restaurant. The food that I served to these people yesterday, last night, it was fresh to the day. Chef Ramsay is wondering why he should continue to stay. I'm done. Oh, God. Last night, I think that it was reality in our face. We have dropped the ball. This is not what we are. Not what we are, but it's our fault. It, we, we can't blame anyone. It's our fault. We let it happen. We need to step up and take back the restaurant. Are you willing to work with us, Chef Ramsay? I mean, do you think that we're savable? I'm trying to. But when you can't accept the real problems, there's no chance. I need help for improvement. Help us. Show us the way, please. We love this place. We live for this place. My life is this place. I haven't given up but my focus has been gone. I need your help to pull me back to where I was before. I think we need to not go back to how we were when we were successful. We need to move forward and reinvent it. Yeah, you're right. Peter, you've got to let go of the past. You've got to change. Even though change is scary, you need to, yes. you need to change. We have to change our ways. Yanis cannot succeed like that anymore. He cannot stay open like that anymore. And this is my reality check. And Peter, here's another thing. What I saw last night wasn't pretty. Peter, you were so negative. And if Elise is determined to be in the kitchen, you have to nurture her and support her. Do you ever tell her she does a good job? Uh, never. No, it shows. I mean, I'm sorry if I yelled at you guys before, you know, maybe with no reason and stuff, but the pressure was on. And, well, I guess I didn't know how to relieve the pressure you or how to fix that, the pressure. You know, at the end of the night when it's all said and done, well, instead of calling the Chef Ramsay in here to make you say it, you can say it once in a while. Well, like I said, things are going to change. Good. It will change. You do know, you mean that? I do. 100%. I'm not a man that backs down. I'm not an egomaniac, Nothing but I have a pride. We're moving forward. Moving forward. I really hope that he's willing to change not only our relationship, but everything. It's long overdue. <laughs> Now that Peter appears to be open-minded, Chef Ramsay has an assignment for the family, modifying the major thing that Peter has been most stubborn about. Book for you, a novel for you, and an encyclopedia for you, and you and I are going to share. The menu. Look at each and every page together and throw out what's not selling. Get ready to cut out a lot. I'll be back in five minutes, OK? okay. Feta and olives. No, that's must. Souvlaki's. No. Chicken scottas? Out. No, that's not out. Seriously, Did you come eat on. Chicken dishes? People come in here, they're used to this menu, and, and oh, it's well, like, oh, new I people don't are gonna come. I don't wanna lose this menu. New people so. are gonna come. No, we're changing. I mean, this is your time to change. It's like walk away from the menu. Just take it out. How many items is to begin with? Too many. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't realize so many. I've had this menu for 28 years, but I think it's time for me to listen to others. 
leave my ego out the door. 55 Iron Man, I never, I just... That's the only way for this restaurant to succeed. Okay, we have to. Saganaki and fasolia is out. Okay, chicken scottas? Off. 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 I can't believe that my dad actually let us take a Sharpie and cross off all these menu items. We don't need those saucy beef dishes out. This is the first time I've seen my dad actually listen to my mom and my sister and I and not have to take control of the situation. Wow. OK, good. That's uh, our menu. We, oh, wow. Well, just, just that on one page? 64 to 21. And wait a second, are you smiling? <laughs> yes, huh? this is weird. <laughs> what? Man, there's no tears on three or either. It's amazing. I know, I'm crying. <laughs> this is the new direction, and, I, and we're all committed now as a family to make this happen. Good. That's given me a lot to work with. I'll see you later. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Yesterday I wanted to kill him. Now I don't want to hug him. <laughs> with the family recommendations in mind, Chef Ramsay heads to the kitchen to work and perfect the new Yanni's menu, while his renovation team overhauls the dining room. Good morning. Hi. Hi. Morning. First of all, how is everybody feeling? Do you have a vomit bucket? Oh, Jesus. Three yeah. shot. <laughs> wow. Oh, boy. I want all of you to take your blindfolds off. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. Welcome to new Yanni's. It is stunning. That's it. Oh, man. How beautiful is this restaurant? Oh, my god, it's gorgeous. When I walked in here, it looked like you hadn't updated since 1984. Welcome oh to 2013. God. That is so nice. Oh, my god. Taria, it's nice to see tears of joy. <laughs> Let me tell you, gone is that depressing wall. <laughs> yes. We've replaced it with an amazing gradient paint job. Oh. You know, I love the blue. I love how it just fades out. The wine barrels have gone too. And look, we got rid of that hideous, dated, stained glass and opened up with wonderful wooden trim. And the restaurant looks twice as big now. Oh, gosh. Also, I've arranged for a complete delivery of brand new China, courtesy of Niagara, China. Oh, my god. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, you OK, bud? <laughs> Come here, bud. Oh, my god. Come on. Up. Oh, man. How, how do you do my country? Let me give you the best. You're the best. <laughs> You're the best. <laughs> to see my father so happy, it's such a great feeling. His true emotion showed. Today marks the greatest day ever at Yanni's Greek restaurant. There's one more thing I need to show you. I think it's going to really help organize you in a way that you've never been organized. This is your new POS system. <laughs> oh, my god. Oh, my god. <laughs> This is the POS Lava system from Zephyr Hardware. This is unique. Servers take orders on touch screens. Orders go directly into the kitchen. Wow. No more trying to figure out what is the thing. And this comes with a, an amazing new app that can be controlled from anywhere. Even from home, it will tell you what's going, what's not working. It will tell you what your top selling dish is. It will give you a detailed report instantly. Oh, my god. This Thanks, is going to make yeah. this restaurant run seamlessly. Wow. Wow. <laughs> This is a new day at Yanis. Wow. Thank Chef Ramsey. Now that Yanni's decor has been revamped, uh -huh. Chef Ramsey has taken the family's pared down menu and created fresh, innovative, modern Greek dishes. We've kept your classics and we've modernized your approach to the Mediterranean cuisine. Dig in. All right. Uh, enjoy. Where should I start? I think I have blinders before, thinking my food was great. But now that Chef Ramsay showed us new dishes, I'm ready. With Peter fully embracing the new direction of the restaurant. Are you ready? Pumped up, baby. Pumped up, baby. Look Pumped up. up. Chef Ramsay spends time teaching Elise and Peter different techniques in the kitchen. Just touch that on top. Okay. By doing that, it flattens the skin, OK, which then gives you a nice, solid base. Chef Ramsay is boosting my confidence so much by teaching me the science behind the dish, and it's amazing. Good. Your plate is exactly the same as my plate. This is the way you two should be working together in harmony. Good evening. Welcome to the new Yanni's. At the start of the relaunch service, Peter and Elise began to battle. I can call. I'll call him back. You call me then. Call me. Yeah, I'm. You just told me. Wait a minute. Calm down. Elise is expediting. Listen to her. 
but Chef Ramsay's enforcement of a new system got them back in sync. At least that's just going to be up to you then to stay strong, making sure that we are staying united as a team. New ticket, rotisserie chicken with potatoes, gyro with potatoes. Work together, guys. Oh, yeah. Eggplant moussaka. Yes, I, I got it. Out. In there. Good. Out. Chef Ramsay is right. Instead of focusing on the negative and fighting constantly, pick each other up. As for the dining room, this may be one of the most successful relaunches ever. How's everything tasting so far? Really good. With customers raving about the food for the entire evening. Delicious. All of my customers, they're very happy. They're all coming back. Woohoo! Peter and Elise working in the kitchen and actually him being happy and proud of my daughter. I mean, it's priceless. Watching all of you work together is beautiful. Thank you for helping our entire family come together. I am energized for the new Yanis. There is no words to thank you enough. The future for Yanis restaurant it looks great right now. We won't let you down. I want to make him proud. I will serve him the best pumpkin hummus I've ever made. That was just a joke. <laughs> Look after each other. Oh, I'm going to miss this guy. Come back. <laughs> this went from one of the most depressing kitchen nightmares ever to one of the most uplifting. And in a matter of days, this restaurant leaped 30 years. And it's now an excellent Greek restaurant. And I can't ever remember rooting for family more than this one. Wow. Pumpkin hummus. What next? In the weeks that followed, Peter adapted to all the changes made by Chef Ramsay. Father and daughter continued to work well together in the kitchen. All right, our half chicken. The family is also happy to report that for the first time in a long time, Taria <laughs> is doing a lot more smiling than crying. It's a new bright day. I'm not crying.